Hello everyone, um, this is little me, I'm back with another video. So uh, I'm redoing this video because I googled when did Goosebumps come out, it was 1992, uh, which means that I was 12 at the time, and my brother was a wee little person, <laughs> and I was living with my aunt at the time, so I didn't even know that this book series was even out. If I had known, I probably would not have been able to buy it. So, uh, great news, I have ordered my Goosebump books, and they're going to arrive on Saturday, so you will be getting a uh, mail haul. It's going to be one mail haul, no, actually two, no one, no one, uh, because all the books I ordered, my mystery books, my Goosebump books, they're all arriving on the same day, so I am, they're probably going to arrive on two separate trucks, so when I get the first truck coming in, then I have to wait for the second one, and or they may arrive in, on one truck. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, uh, you know, what Amazon will do until I receive the product. So, um, yeah. So uh, those books will arrive, and next week I will start um, reading. Um, the first book, which will be Welcome to Dead House. I am really super excited about going to finally be able to sit down and read a physical copy of this book. Um, so, so, uh, I, so I have, so the total books coming in are nine. Uh, five of them are going to be in a collector's tent. The rest are going to be independent. Um, no, actually, no, it's going to be ten. 10. So um, I will read 1 through 8 and the only two that will not be read is um, The Haunted Mask and One Day in Horrorland. One Day in Horrorland is actually going to be the final episode tomorrow. So um, yeah, tomorrow. So uh, when I get home I'm going to immediately log on to my Disney Plus and watch the final episode and I will do a review of that episode tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully we will get news from uh, Sony or from Disney that they have renewed Goosebumps for a second season. Because right now they are looking through the books that have not been put on screen to do that. So we're going to probably get another, um, another, uh, uh, 10 books. So, uh, so one of the things I've noticed, uh, and this happened before. So the title of this video is going to be Scalping Arl Stein's Books. Yeah, that's going to be the title of the video. Scalp in Arl Stein's books. My brother would also add to high heaven. But um, I told him, I, t I said this like a month ago or something. I said, you know, Stephen, the show's going to be coming on. And you know exactly what's going to happen. They're going to scalp the Goosebump books to high heaven. Or at least the ones they can. And he agreed with me. He's like, yeah, you're right. They're going to do that. And my brother cannot stand scalpers at all. That is one of his pet peeves because it's shutting people out of getting an item. Um, so when I saw Welcome Dead House being close to $100 um, or a couple other books, uh, there was one I think, I, I hope and pray I was have I hope and pray I was being delusional about this, like $300. And I think it was My, it might have been the Haunted Mask or one, well, one of them. So, uh, but yeah, so library bindings, when they don't have a price on them, be very careful. Be extremely careful. Because you do not want to have a heart attack, heart attack at home. Um, but yeah, they did that with the uh, Fear Street books when Arl Stein was coming back to, um, to, um, publish uh, more Fear Street books. They did that with that. And I think this is the curse of 
being a successful author when your own books get like jacked up in price. Um, another prime example of people jacking up the price and it not, and this time around it's not working is there was a guy, there's a guy I know called Priest Christopher and I think it was his first book in his series of religious books that was jacked up to $900. And I contacted him and I said, hey, um, I'm a big fan of your work and stuff like that, but you need to go on Amazon and you need to check out how much people are selling it for. And he contacted me about 20 minutes later and said, that is not how much I charged for the book. So apparently he did something and the seller was taken off the platform, which is good. But, um, but yeah, so uh, every time I get paid, I will be purchasing a couple Goosebump books. I don't really care if they're in the original cover. I'm not obsessed with like first edition ones. But um, I'm just absolutely obsessed over Goosebumps. Uh, Goosebumps is like the obsession of like my life. Because, and I'm not the only one, there was someone who commented on I'm reading through Goosebumps that basically was like, good luck, good luck doing that. And how, you know, she's like, I finally got all the Goosebump books and now I'm working through Goosebumps 2000. Um, that is actually my next target after I get the 62 books. Um, but yeah, and also, uh, today I'm going to be purchasing the second, third, yes, second, third, and fourth episode of the original 90s Goosebumps TV show. So I can, anytime I want to, I can sit down and I can watch it. Um, unfortunately for me, and I just, I hope and pray this is just my computer doing this but I can only watch them on my cell phone, which sucks big time. All right, so um, that is going to be it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys around.